survivor awaken first though here for another day in state of survival all right so in today's video we are going to do some hero series here so I know this series been going on um, for quite some time now and I'm slowly making hero videos for you guys so yeah, if you do subscribe, you will get a notification right now, and I make a it's easy for you. Right down that corner, um, it will be a red button. Um, you can subscribe. All right, so um, the new heroes here that we're gonna talk about. Uh, she is a purple heroes, um, and she's also a rider. All right, man. Um, um, no more comment on uh, why is it a rider because uh, we do need uh, um, a brawler right but anyway I'm just gonna show you a quick video and we will go from there that guy and who is she all right so um, in today's video we are going to cover one of the newest hero that we have okay I'm gonna have to butcher this uh, Kang in Ju all right if I pronounce it wrong I'm so sorry but um, leave a comment down below uh, how would uh, we pronounce her all right, so she's an infected hero. She's a rider, as I expected. Um, and let's see her story here. Oh, pretty short actually. Kang In Ju is a grandmother. Huh? Oh, grand. Uh, Kang In Ju grandmother was a Taosheng mass dancer. Due to her influence, Kang In Ju grew in to deeply love this traditional art form. Not only interested in the dance movement, she also enjoyed delving into interpretation of the plot. All right, man. I, honestly, I gonna have to Google the, these things. Um, no idea what are these uh, type of dance. Kang and Ju carry another imprint of her grandmother. She's a bit of uh, superstitious. Ooh. All right. So, in this video, we are going to talk about um, her stat, um, her skill in um, in explore, and in military, and then we're gonna talk about if she's like any good um, using to be a trap leader or a trap joiner. All right, and lastly. How do we get her? Okay, so uh, first of all, all right, we're gonna go to. Um, I have a itchy finger um, earlier, so I did upgrade her skill by one on the first one. So multiple arrow. They used to be able to like click on this, and then it, it would show up like a bigger. Uh, skill um, I'm gonna have to borrow Teddy um, like a big picture uh, just to show you how like you know make it easy for you to read all right so here we go uh, multiple arrow can you shoot five arrow in a certain direction causing 1183.05 damage to the target 
and reducing that target movement speed by 80% alright so um, basically shoot the ar 5 arrow and it's just gonna slow down alright so this is the active skill so basically you will have to automatic uh, I mean you will have to manually um, uh, you press to use it or unless you press the um, you know auto in your explore alright secondly mass dance can you is proficient in the mass dance which motivate teammate increase their attack power by 20% and attack speed by 20% so at level 5 we're gonna see uh, what's at level 5 okay um, and last one 10 ring so this is uh, also um, like a random activated skill all right, ten rings. When can you shoot an arrow? She has a chance to inflict a critical shot, hitting the visual part of the infected, causing uh, fourteen um, no one point four k damage to the target and stop it for three seconds. So that's at level one. So I would say one second. Um, I mean, for three seconds, it's pretty good. Uh, maybe it would go higher but we'll see uh, so that's the explore stat right all right now we're gonna have to upgrade all these skill here let's see all right so so right now in explore doing 50, uh, one, 1500 damage and reduce movement still at 80 percent uh, okay all right, so let's see if it's gonna increase. Ah, uh, what? It's not even full percentage. It's only um, twenty-three point uh, six. Uh, all right, sure, we take that. All right, this is gonna. So this is uh, basically um, gonna increase damage uh, when you shoot, right? So about 2000 damage and uh, stop for two seconds all right so all the skill are maxed now um yeah and as you can see i don't try to level up my um the heroes because um i'm just having a very hard time to get all these things going uh, i mean i'm i still have to level up brook i don't have the xp book anymore so I'm trying to farm them as much as I can Sarge now we who else should we use for this um, all right we're gonna use Mike can we borrow someone Mike well the reason I'm using that so we can actually see her skill um, I've been playing for uh, with this uh, just before we uh, record the video just to see you know I'm not that surprised uh, when I come into here. All right, so let's do it. All right, so at this part, I'm just gonna do auto. All right. Then, all right, this part, we're gonna try to see her skill here. Alright, so that's coming in. As you can see, you can see her skill, right? Um, her cone skill is like... Uh, I don't know what to tell you, man. It's... Um, since she's a rider and she doesn't really move, that skill is uh, like super invalid. I mean, if, if you look at this, right, it's the same thing, same skill. Um, so, in my opinion, for these type of uh, um, skill here, not very impressive. Oh, am I gonna get overrun? They're not really strong, though. I mean, all these guys here. There you go. And then uh, randomly she will buff like dance right there, but yeah. She's 
she will buff and increase the attack and so on but um, in explore it doesn't but then again she's very low level for me um, could be better but I mean as far as the skill goes uh, I'm not a fan of um, alright so these guys always run away so I'm gonna have this um, Alright, stun him over one more time. Alright. He always ah, uh, man. <laughs> he always run away. I don't like that. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna stun the dude. Eh. Alright, thousand XP. Not so bad. Alright. So in my impression, uh her skill is not like that great in explore um, I feel like uh, as the rider uh, heroes they don't really move uh, they should not be uh, that the her skill should be a little bit better uh, that would be like a long range you know throw a bomb or throw uh, like you know um, some kind of equipment and just do damage uh, from f longer range not short range because I mean people have different uh, play style in the explore right so I personally not a fan of her skill all right next uh, we can talk about Mary's Terry's uh, stat all right since we upgrade or the you know all the skill to level five. All right, we're gonna um, okay. So multiple arrow. So this is first skill that you use for a trap joiner. Um, so troop damage will be inflicted on all enemy falling every fifth attack. Would that be fifth attack every? like in the battle or every fifth rally right so um, on that part uh, for me uh, it's not like um, doesn't say anything about like how much damage like you know how many percent it's gonna in inflict so I wouldn't want to uh, get this over your um, other heroes that you have all right so the second one um, skill damage caused by troop increased by 25% so these skill right here um, uh, it's only rally leader will uh, get effect or unless uh, you're gonna attack somebody uh, that's your call but I mean these skill is very good but it's only for solo it's not for joining um, the rally all right all right last one uh, 10 ring uh, troop damage received by target increased 25% so she's uh, obviously uh, some uh, PV PvP uh, advantage there um, just uh, reduce damage by 25% so that's some other hero that's uh, reduce damage um, for example it would be like Miho here all right so Miho smoke bomb throw a uh, smoke bomb reduce enemy damage by 20% but Miho is also a rider um, so we'll have to think that you know if you have like all those hero that uh, reduce all damage by you know 75% um, is it worth it on using her uh, to attack other people unless you don't have anybody else better um, I I still go with Maddie if you <laughs> still uh, new to the game and I mean for this uh, she for me um, I would say she's still like a gathering heroes or a horde um, heroes all right so would she be good for uh, trap rally um, I would I mean for for trap uh, you don't take damage so her third skill here um, her third skill will not be very very um, useful 
Um, skill damage is good, and her attack. Um, we're gonna have to uh, see some stat here, and you know, go from there. But I mean, um, as for me, uh, she's an she's a no go for f to set the rally. All right. Okay. Next, we're gonna do. Uh, well, we already talked about she won't be a good joiner because of the first skill. Um, it doesn't really say anything about like you know how much damage uh, they're gonna make. Oh, it could be like an error somewhere. I tried to turn, but I mean it's it's not very. <laughs> it it doesn't show anything much. So. Would she be considered as like a Gen Five hero that we need to send that? Uh, I mean, Rider into the battles. Um, that's we're gonna have to put into the test. But uh, for now, um, that's uh, Kang in Ju for you. All right. So, um, how do we get her? According to the dev. Um, we just have uh, some discussion here. Um, I'm not allowed to show you like a, a text that we uh, talk in the as for content creator like us uh, talk to the dev. So here's what um, he answered to me. So Kanginju is available to any state that are eight days or older. Um, and she will be able to uh, get through search uh, function here. Well, that's that's kind of salt. Let's find some um, good fragment, shall we? And uh, let's do ten. All right, subscribe. I use your resource just for you, man. Um, not yet here. Um, so that's what. Um, so that's how how you locate her, and if you subscribe, you will see that um, I have another event that uh, uh, defend Peninsula. Um, it's another uh, promotional event for um, Korean player. So that's um, you can get her through that, and yeah, all the information on that event is there. Um, however, that event is no longer available um, for you know state one or my state. Um, so um, that's the only way. Um, however, I do I did see some um, like actual Korean member. Um, he's in like a state like fifty something. Um, anyway, um, he does have those. Um, HQ. Um, I'll show you. Uh, it's the uh, this HQ, Palace of Hope. Um, and basically, I try to uh, send them a message and ask like, how do you uh, get those? Uh, because uh, it's so. If you are um, Korean that's watching this, uh, let me know if this event already ran, ran uh, for you. Um, so that's the only uh, things, information that I have for you um, on how to locate her, like uh, through Epic Search and through the event. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next Hero Series.